there welcome or welcome back to beauty bees i'm iris and this is my monthly haul for may of 2023 and you guys i look so good this month uh, i did purchase quite a bit of nail polish there were two purchases of nail polish um one from an indie brand one from a online stockist that i had not used before and otherwise i only purchased one beauty item. So let's start with that actually. It's really not exciting. It's a replacement and uh, you'll see this in my empties video in and here because I'm filming my empties video um, immediately after this. But this is the Up and Up Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. This lasts me ages and ages. Um, I just finished mine Earlier this month, I switched to using a micellar water. I had a little sample from Garnier, I think, and it's not great. I don't think it does nearly as good of a job of removing my eye makeup as this does. And it leaves this like oily film on my eyes. Like my vision just feels a little bit blurry for a little while after using that. And I think it's mostly just in my head, but not, not entirely. So. I'm glad to be moving back to this one once I am done with that little sample. So this is really cheap. This is like a $3 product, but it's really good. I would strongly recommend if you need an eye makeup remover, try the up and up one. And then I'm in like whatever else highest tier rewards member is, which you can become or used to be able to become. I think they've changed the system a little bit. You used to be able to become the e.l.f. highest reward member like without practically purchasing anything. But anyway, somehow I belong to that club and they sent me a sample out of the blue one day. I'd never received a sample from them before through that and I've been their highest tier for like two years, I think. But I received this little sample of the Youth Boosting Advanced Tonight Retinoid Serum. Haven't tried it yet, a little bit afraid to try a retinoid serum because I'm already very sun sensitive. I mean, I can go out for eight to 10 minutes during the summer with a hat. And if I don't have sunscreen, I will be pink. And I don't like to add to that, but I'm also really curious, so. We'll see. I might save that until a little bit later on, maybe like fall, winter. I might be more, more willing to try retinols and retinoids. So the first purchase that I made this month was from Alicia's Lacquers. It is an indie nail polish brand. I believe it's based out of the Minneapolis area, if I'm not mistaken. And I've actually done a video on their polishes before, which will I have, will have linked up in the cards. Anyway, I did that a couple of months ago. I decided to try some additional polishes. So what I ended up doing was I bought, I think, three individual polishes, which we'll go through first. So first up is the one full size polish that I purchased. This is a sort of emerald green that goes to blue and purple multi-chrome nail polish called Riverfront Rendezvous. And let's see, here it is swatched out. It is stunningly beautiful. I wore this in three coats by itself, not over black or anything. And in most of the lighting that I can get on camera, it glows this like beautiful emerald green, but you do get a lot of purple, a lot of blue. I sometimes pace around my living room and like while I'm watching TV and stuff. And one night I was doing that and just looking at my nails and it was absolutely mesmerizing to see, because my living room's not very big. I mean, it's probably eight to 10 steps in each direction before you need to shift course. And it just was constantly shifting. I thought it was gorgeous. I'm really happy with this. Um, I also purchased some minis. I picked two out myself. I knew these were going to be fairly similar, but I don't even care. I think they're both cute and very 
unique in their own ways. So first up, we have Chameleon Co. And this is a white-based curly. It has these little pinprick glitters is what I'm going to call them in pink, blue, purple, and yellow. And the effect on the nails is sort of a, like a bird egg effect. It's cute. It's fun. I like it. The other one that I purchased is called Disco Dinosaurs, and I needed it for the name, but it's also adorable. This is a white-based curly with some smaller uh, glitters that are quite similar in size to Chameleon Co., as well as two different sizes of larger circle glitters. And this is just so fun. I think it's a perfect type of polish to transition from spring into summer. I loved wearing this on my toes. I just thought it looked really, really cute. And here this is swatched out. Between the two polishes, I think you can see the overall vibe is very different, even though the only thing that really differs between the two is the amount and size of glitter. Uh, this polish has fewer glitters, but they are larger and more varied in size, whereas this is pretty jam-packed, but they're very, very small glitters. I like them both. I'm pretty happy that I bought both. I, in the moment though, I was kind of worried that I was getting too minis of the same polish, more or less. And then the other item that I purchased was a set of five mystery minis. Now from the listing online, I thought that these were not going to be polishes that you could get elsewhere on the site, not ones that you could buy individually, but that is not the case because one of these, um, Komotoyamas, yes, is a shade that I was actually considering purchasing, which worked out really well for me because obviously I liked it. I wanted it. I actually kind of thought at first that I'd purchase this one individually as well and maybe they'd shorted me um, a mystery nail polish because I'd been considering it that intently, but nope. I just ended up with a polish that I really, really liked. However, that suggests to me that I wouldn't purchase mystery polishes from them in the future because there's a chance now that I would get a repeat and I'm not really willing to do that. Anyway, Como Te Amas is this white curly with a couple different shapes and sizes of black glitter in it. And the overall effect is very much cookies and cream ice cream. It's so fun. I haven't worn this one yet. I'm looking forward to it though. I think this is adorable. I'm really glad that I ended up with that one. Uh, let's see. The next favorite polish from the mystery bag would be uh, Spring Break. This is one of their small batch polishes, which is what I thought I was going to be getting. And let's see. Here it is swatched out. It is a light pink purple pretty sheer kind of iridescent it will be less sheer on the nail than it looks on the swatch ring because your nails are not made of clear plastic but I think the overall effect is going to be very ethereal and I haven't tried this one either it looks really cute though next up we have another small batch slash one of a kind polish this is a green shade and here it is swatched. It has these little black flecks in it, as well as, I would call this a shimmery green base. It's an interesting polish. I don't think it's something I ever would have picked for myself. And I'm not sure I love it, but I have yet to give it a go. I think I would actually like it though. I mean, look at the nails that I have on today, these little Skittle Manny. 
I feel like this would fit in and look really cute with the rest of them. So I I like it. I think I think I can get into this. So we have two reflective glitters. The first is this deep red which I'm wondering if this is intended to be like a multi-chrome because there's a little bit of shifting that I can see in the bottle from red to gold and maybe into orange a little bit. It's interesting. I'm definitely intrigued to give this a try. This is Chicago Dog and this is it swatched out. This is in three coats, I think, and it's definitely still sheer, but maybe it would look a little bit better over black. I can still see that red shimmer glowing away. So again, haven't tried it yet. And then the last one is Accidentally on Porpoise. And this is a gorgeous blue reflective shimmer or reflect, reflective glitter. Ooh. And this is a gorgeous blue reflective glitter. Here it is the swatch. I... Again, haven't tried it yet. It looks really sheer on the swatch ring, but I'm excited to give this a go. And this is definitely grainy, but it's not as grainy as I would expect a reflective glitter to be. Compared to some of those, it's practically smooth. Okay, so that is what I purchased from Alicia's Lacquers. Then from Sleek Nails, which is a stockist that has a lot of indie brand nail polish. It has sort of the bigger indie or boutique brands like Katie Shimmer and Cirque and I I don't know if it has ILMP. I won't, I won't swear to that. But it also has a lot of the mainstream brands. I purchased three polishes and a top coat. So let's talk about the top coat first. I purchased the Katie Shimmer clearly on top and I chose this one because I've heard Mediocre Mammies. I'll have her channel link below. She talks about this sometimes and she said that it doesn't smear her nail art the way that a lot of other top coats do. And that's a problem that I have consistently is that I try to top coat my nail art and I just end up with a mess even if I feel like I've waited so long. Even if I really have waited 45 minutes, an hour after applying my nail art, I still somehow end up smearing it. So I'm hoping this fixes my problems because if this does fix my problems, I mean, this was $6 and I used some kind of coupon code to get like $5 off 30, I think. So I hope this works because that's cheaper than the Sally Hansen top coat that I use that smears things when you work it out per milliliter. So. Fingers crossed that'll work out for me. And then I have three polishes. So first up is a KB Shimmer polish. I bought this one as much for the name as the color. This is called Chroma Chameleon. And that song, Karma Chameleon, has been stuck in my head since like early February, it feels like. I love it. I don't know. I don't know why, but it's really been on my mind the last couple of months. And I thought this looked so pretty. So the base of this color is sort of a fuchsia pink. And then it's a multi-chrome, so it shifts to olive. I see quite a bit of gold in it, too. I think this is so, so pretty. And here it is on the nail ring. I think this is going to be gorgeous. I just received these yesterday so I haven't had time to try them out. I don't know what I'm going to paint my nails with next. Um, there's so many fun options but this is a definite contender. Then I purchased one polish from Cirque. I've never tried anything from Cirque before and I decided I wanted to give one of their jellies a go. This is Dove Jelly and it is an intentionally sheer gray polish. Here it is swatched. I have it in two coats and it's still very, very sheer. I actually think it's coming off less sheer on camera than it looks in person. But I thought this would be such a fun polish to try some nail art with. I thought 
of buying one coat of this, then some glitter, and then another coat of this in a jelly sandwich could be really beautiful. I thought it might be interesting to try some like lacy nail art and then put this over again so that you had that almost mesh effect. I thought this was going to be fun and it's a really soft sort of professional color that I could also wear in one or two coats on its own and um, not have bare nails because that makes me feel weirdly exposed for some reason but also not be uh, super loud screaming yellow skittle nanny. Now speaking of super loud I also purchased one polish from Color Club and this is a Barbie nail polish. It's made in Malibu. Oh my goodness, it is hot pink, neon fluorescent pink with a couple of different types of glitter in it. And I think this is going to be the perfect polish for the toes in the summer. I don't really see myself doing this like as a full mani that feels maybe a little bit too Miami real estate agent for me personally, but it's definitely fun. And here it is swatched out. There is some texture to it with all of the glitter, but that bright pink. And I have nothing similar to this. I'm super excited to give it a go. I think it's beautiful. And that is everything that I purchased this month. I do have one item that I got through Buzz Agent, which I'm also so excited for this. I hope that no one's playing a drinking game where they took a shot every time I said excited because they wouldn't be dead by this point. But this is from Giorgio Armani and it is their Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the shade 50. The compact is really pretty, really interesting. I do like this um, oval, the lips shape that Giorgio Armani does. I've tried a couple of their products and I've been really impressed. And here is what the blush looks like. I mean, it effectively looks like NARS Orgasm. It's really quite similar. It's super pretty. I've worn it twice so far and been really impressed with it. It doesn't come off as very glittery. I think it looks more glittery in the pan than what you get on your cheeks which I'm totally fine with because I don't need a glitter bomb on my face. And I think this is just a super fresh, pretty look. I always like Nars Orgasm. I think it's a shade that looks really good on me, on the eyes, on the lips, on the cheeks. So I was really excited to get that. And always interesting to try some really high-end makeup and see how it compares to what I'm more likely to buy at the drugstore or that lower tier of high-end makeup at Sephora or Nolta. Okay, so that is all that came into my collection this month. There was a lot of nail polish, but I actually have my empties bin sitting right next to me, and I am so pleased with the amount that left my collection versus what came in. I would like to keep it to maybe three or four bottles of nail polish next month rather than 12 can I count 12 that's a little much but overall this worked out pretty well okay so thank you so so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed I hope you stick around and watch the empties video and that'll be coming up uh, for me in like two minutes for you whenever I next post, and um, I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. See y'all!